is real life, nigga, fuck music Don't matter how I do it, I just do it Never think twice, bro, I just do it 23, 19, just do it This is real life, nigga, fuck music Yo, 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 what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. We're over here in Smasher Man Simulator, and I'm looking at my screen right now, and everything looks different, and not in a bad way. I'm actually very, very impressed with this particular update. So, um, there's other things that have been added to the game. I've been grinding, and I finally made it to the final area in the game so let me explain the journey let me explain what's new to the game and all you guys got to do is smash the like button on this video share the video and of course subscribe to the channel right now if you're new watching for the very first time there's going to be a brand new code in this video as well so pay close attention so um the game says here in the description three times the gold event there is also um, going to be updates, I believe, every two weeks. Things could change, but it is listed here in the information that it is going to be updated every two weeks. Um, so it says that they added a golden machine. As you guys can clearly see, my pets look a little, they look a little shiny. <laughs> they added a new map, which is the Sunshine Valley. They added new weapons. There's 11 more weapons added in the game. Um, they added new pets. There's a total of five brand new pets. They added a new upgrade for luck boost. They added new achievements, new titles, and of course, new codes to the game as well. All right. So as you guys can see, things are a little bit different here. This is the spawn starting zone. So. Let's take a look at what's over here. So we got the spin the wheel that's here. Okay, I remember that from last time. The leaderboards are actually featured over here. And as you can see, every leaderboard goes from one to 10. So you have time played, top strongest, total gold, and total gems. I don't know why I said total gold like that. I was in mid yarn, that's why. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got a brand new exclusive weapon over here, the Infernus Hammer, 650 power. Um, it's a four-star exclusive. It costs a thousand Robux, but the stuff that I'm about to show you is basically going to put this hammer down. You know what I mean? Like, pun intended there, it's going to put it down <laughs> because you're not going to want this hammer. I mean, it's good to collect every single pet and every single weapon in the game because it's very rewarding, but you're probably not going to want the hammer after you get some of the other stuff in the game. Here is the Robux egg right here for $7.99. This is a special egg. And then you have the eggs for the first starter zone. Okay. So... As you walk out here, you can see at the top of your screen, it says starter zone. So you always know exactly where you're at in the game. Over here is the golden machine and of course the index machine as well. So as you guys can see over here, we have 57 out of 107. We literally have half of the game completed, which is good. You know what I mean? It's good for me. Let me show you guys, uh, boom. We can just pretty much one shot the starter zone. That's, you know, basically telling you guys about my progress. That's how strong I have gotten over the last uh, video. So over here in the golden machine, you can make your weapons golden and you can also make your pets golden as well. Now, here's a note down here in red. It says equipped weapons slash pets don't appear in a slot. And what that means is basically you have to unequip your weapons and your pets to basically uh, make them into golden pets. So anything that is equipped will not show up here. So if you have multiples of whatever is equipped, you got to make sure you unequip them so that way they can actually appear in the slot. So this is basically what I have left in my inventory as far as like pets go. And um, as you guys can see, 
there is no natural requirement. So you can try to fuse one particular pet here. You click on it, it's 20%. You can see uh, how many is required here, but you don't naturally need five. You can actually take just one and try to make a golden, but it would make sense to go on four or to get exactly five for the same exact pet. So that way you can solidify making it golden and then you can check it off over here at the uh, collection machine. So pretty much the same situation with the weapons here. You can go ahead and select one or you can go ahead and select four or five of the same weapons to make it golden. Golden is the max tier right now in the game itself. All right, now let me show you something else that is different. So as you guys can see over here, on your screen, you can see that at the top is the event that's going on right now, plus 200% in the coins. Then over here, you have your teleport, which as I told you guys, you can teleport to anywhere in the game just by unlocking these areas here with coins. Some of them may require like gems, but most of the um, worlds that I opened up, they actually required coins. Now, currently, there's only one world. This is all the zones that are lying within the one world creation. So there could be a second world coming with more new zones. Over here, they have a mountable dragon, bro. I cannot wait to get this as a Robux option. This is going to be very, very interesting because if you guys remember, we played that, uh, what was it, that dragon simulator game? I can't remember exactly what the name of it was called, but we were able to mount a dragon. And then if we play Pet Simulator X, we were able to mount a hoverboard. We played Weapon Fighting Simulator. We were able to mount the sword. And then in Anime Fighters, we were able to mount, you know, pretty much anything in that game. You know, it came from cars. It came from Titan mounts. It came from pretty much anything that they could think of to add in their game and that is what inspired every other game to you know create different types of mounts so this one giving us a dragon mount is going to be freaking awesome now um it says here you need the hoverboard game pass and it costs 149 robux just looking at the picture it looks really awesome just imagine you're you're mounting a, a freaking dragon something like charizard you know that'll be freaking awesome to have all right so now over here to the right hand side you can see that all of this stuff is new here remember all of this stuff was displayed in the inventory and some people i gotta be honest they were like complaining because they didn't know where certain buttons were and i explained in my first video even though not everyone has watched it because i'm a small channel but i did explain that if you opened up the inventory you have view and access to the rest of the other buttons that are supposed to be available in the game. But what they have done here is that, you know, they have watched my video, the devs, the creators, and some of you guys that are subscribed to the channel, and you may have noticed that they have actually listened to, you know, some of us that made videos and everything like that. And they opened up this uh, option here. So now you have two separate buttons so you have your inventory down here you have the shop here and then you have the rest of your buttons here so you have the code redeem button here you have your player statistical stats listed here and then you have your achievements here and as you guys can see your two currencies in the game so we got gold coins and gems here now if you go over to your statistical stats it'll tell you everything that you need here everything that you have done in a game how many eggs and chests you have opened up here's your total strength listed so that's a good thing because remember in that first video i wanted to know how strong i was and how much strength i needed to make the leaderboard but now i see that i need at least nine thousand more strength to make it onto the leaderboard so i don't know if they're counting like the total amount of pets in your inventory or if they're counting towards what you have equipped but for me to make that 10th spot on the strength leaderboard, I need 900,000 more, which is crazy. But you can see my total gems earned here. 
sitting at 12 million. You can see my gold earned sitting at 74. Didn't spend no Robux in this game. So people that are saying I'm pay to win, I'm actually not pay to win in this game. And you don't necessarily have to pay to win in here. This is the thing that I told you. All you gotta do is legit grind this game. It's similar to Pet Simulator X, but it's not making you pay like Pet Simulator X. You know what I mean? They're not asking you every single week or every single month that they update the game to spend Robux because just grinding and playing is gonna be profitable as well. You know, you don't have to skip the progress by using Robux. Then you can see how many items I smashed. So I'm sitting at 929. So we're going to be close to 1,000. And then you can see the total time I played, which is coming to nine hours in the game. So for me to make the leaderboard for most time played, I need about a day and a half, <laughs> basically, to get the number 10 spot. All right. So now I want to showcase off my, uh, my inventory here of weapons and pets. So now that I've reached the final area in the game, there's really nothing to do until the next world comes. And basically now what I'm doing is going backwards and making sure I get every weapon and every pet in the game. And I'm also trying to uh, get every um, version of the weapons and the pets in the game because there are golden versions of everything now. So. If you look at uh, some of the weapons here in my inventory, some of these guys are actually golden. So we have a golden boa staff here, and then we have a golden heavy kanabo, which is a sword. It's a very, very heavy spiky sword. And I have this equipped right now. You can see the damage on it. It's 9,000. It has a little special perk here. It increases your attack speed by 4%. And then we have hatched some legendary weapons here. So take a look at this. We have the Ice Protector Scythe. We have the Sandstorm Hammer. We have the Lava Soldier Club. And we also have the Mint Sword. So there's four legendaries that I hatched right there. And then some of these other ones are just rares with like one star rarities on them. So we have a Magma Hammer a golden Mr. Snowman, an invader scythe, a desert scorpion sword, a golden delicious ice cream. We have a demonic magma sword, a golden invader sickle, and a golden cookie sword. <laughs> now, um, in my inventory right now, I want to say my favorite weapon has to be the ice cream. This one looks so good as a normal sword but once you make it golden you kind of can't see all of the uh you know all of the colors all of the natural colors of the ice cream but nonetheless this is still one of my favorite and also this uh ice protector it made me yell when i hatched it so that's why it holds a special place because i wasn't expecting to hatch anything legendary in the game but it ended up happening and um the fact that I was able to get four different legendaries from four different areas in the game, that's awesome. All right, now let's take a look at the pets here. So we haven't hatched anything like legendary as far as pets go, but we did get some, uh, some one-star rarities, which is pretty good. So let's start over here with the pets that we have equipped. So we have the uh, Golden Magical Training Dummy. 4,500 on the damage and as you guys can see it has perks of gem increases and also gold increase then we have a golden toxic snake lit 3,600 and we have multiples of these equipped by the way and then we have a golden bomb 2,800 on the damage and as you guys can see, the bomb literally has the drill bomb chance increases by 3% so that just came in handy right there Next, we still have our two exclusives from the first video. Then we have a normal training dummy here, one star rarity. And then we have the Dragon Inferno, which is a rare. We got this from the first area, as a matter of fact. So this is the final pet that you have to get over here at the starter zone. Then we have a Golden Dragon Fire here, 230 on a damage. A Golden Snake. 
and a golden wolf. And then down here we have a golden spike to finish up the inventory with a golden sunflower fairy. So that is really, really awesome. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, let me teleport to the final area, which is the Sunshine Valley. So everything is stronger over here. Now, this is where I got my What's a Samurai title from. Okay, it's going to take your pets a little while to teleport with you because, um, well, I can't really explain it, but they're not really like teleporting with you. They're just passing through all of the zones. So they'll be here momentarily. But as I am waiting for them, let me explain what's happening over here. So you get a very, very zen kind of a vibe here because this is, you know, samurais. This has to do with, you know, Japan and, you know, all of that good stuff. So you can see all of the, you know, little stylish huts that they have over here. There's like a Sakura tree in the background or it could be a cherry tree, cherry blossom, one of those things. And uh, over here you have the samurai egg itself. And then you have the chest that goes along with it. So 500,000 just to hatch this. And this is for your pets, by the way. So this is where I got my magical training dummy. And here is my pets right now. You guys just arrived. Over here, you have your sword uh, chest. And as you guys can see, the best thing that I hatched over here is at a 3%. And this is going to cost 2.5 million per hatch. So things are pretty pretty expensive over here but thanks to this uh event we should be earning um just enough gold here so let's see how much we get off of that so that is 253k just off of that little uh that little pebble of a rock basically you can see that drill chance is coming in and it helps out with the damage uh, off of that big rock right there, we just got 1 million. Then you have a gem. Uh, this is a gem crate right here. So this has 2 million uh, HP. And it takes a little bit of while to damage. But once you start to damage it, you can see the difference here with that drill chance. That is definitely helping us out greatly. So make sure you uh, upgrade that, um, that, that particular upgrade in the upgrade shop. Okay, so we got about a million right there in gems. So all you got to do is just basically keep grinding this area and things will start to appear. So you have the uh, vaults, well, the safes that will appear. And then you have like the most bulkiest thing. And this will be the um, this little crate, like this little treasure box here with the key on it. So you can see the differences in the HP itself. That'll let you know that basically one contains a little bit more than the other, but both of these guys are still going to be very, very bulky and hard to take down. So let's just take down both of them since they're here. And look at that. We could take the 600K one down in no time, basically. Let's do another one here. And make sure you're looking at your uh, gem values here. That's how you know exactly how much you're earning. So that was almost 400K. And then you have this one that's here. Now, like I was, I was explaining here, most of these things, they will be already in the area. And some of them will not be in the area. And how do you get them to basically appear is just by grinding the areas. Just attack everything and anything that's in the area. All right, let me attack one more because we got to farm that egg. You know what I mean? So that means we got to start picking up the pace here and, uh, you know, getting as much as possible because this is the final area. And since there's nothing else for me to do in the game, I might as well try to complete my uh, index and then, you know, just wait for the next world to appear. All right. So here's the upgrade machine. And I like that they placed the upgrade machine and also the eggs that are correspondent with the zone. So remember when I made that first video, everything was just conveniently placed in that starter area. You know what I mean? 
But now they have opened it up. They removed all of the extra borders and everything like that. And they gave you the eggs for the area and the upgrade zone right then and there. So you don't have to be going back and forth between, you know, the best zone that you unlocked and going back to the starter zone. So it makes much more sense for them to have it like this. So I like that they've done this. And the revamp of the entire map and everything like that, it just works well. You know what I mean? I had no complaints when I made the first video, and I still have no complaints. So the game is definitely going in the right direction. It just needs a little more attention coming from, like, YouTubers and star creators. So any of you star creators out there, you definitely need to try this game. Because if you favor Pet Simulator X, you're going to favor this game. And it's also going to save you a lot more in this game as opposed to pet simulator x you heard it from me a person that's been playing it even though i'm not on a leaderboard but i've been playing this game and i i gotta tell you you can save robux in here <laughs> but if you want to help the developers out you can go ahead and spend a little bit but i'm just saying it's not like almost a requirement you know what i mean in pet simulator x it was almost a requirement to buy that exclusive egg because of the huge pets you know what i mean or having pets that no one else was going to be able to have, you know, those hoverboards and everything like that. Like, come on, bro. SMA X, they, they totally ripped us off. And now we're just sitting back waiting for an update that's probably never going to happen. So while you guys are waiting, you should be playing this game here. All right, let me show you guys the upgrades here. So you got walk speed, um, earning more gold, earning more gems, drill, luck, special attack. So I like that they wrote this here. So that way you know exactly what the drill luck is. Because remember, in my first video, I didn't know what this was. But now that I see it happening, this is definitely an upgrade that you guys want to make sure you max out. Because that's going to help you out doing damage. So remember, you have your weapons, you have your pets, and now you have the special drill attack that's going to help you out. Then, of course, you have attack speed, more damage done, more storage, and then down here you have luck. Now, luck is going to be the most expensive upgrade because that's increasing your luck chances in the game. So make sure you have enough gems, and if you're grinding gems, then make sure you basically make enough to you know continuously upgrade the luck option here and then this storage is basically increasing your inventory so that means you can actually collect more pets and more swords in the game without having to worry about you know deleting stuff because at first that's what i was doing i was deleting weapons because i kept maxing out my inventory so now i don't have to delete any weapons now we have a gold machine and we have an option to increase our storage. So that's all of the upgrades that needs to be made here in the game. I might as well go for the speed too, max that out. Um, and then we have uh, more gem upgrades here that we can make. Now they do get more and more expensive, but overall it's gonna be worth it here. It's definitely gonna be worth it. So let me just upgrade a little bit more of that. Let me go ahead and get that upgraded right there. So there we go. Now, before we end off this video, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and find the secret code for this area. So if you guys go over here, there's a bridge. Now, all of this is just one area. All of this is literally the same Sunshine Valley area. So you're just going to go over here. This is an extension of it. You have pretty much more um more options over here so let's say you're in a public server everyone's grinding over there you can just come right over here and get your a little um alone time over here so you have all of the same stuff the gems the rocks got this stuff here <laughs> this is like um i don't know exactly what this is but you know it's not that strong and you can come over here and get your secret code so you're going to talk to the samurai master right here Pretty much just like the cookie, you're going to talk to him. You're not going to kill him. You can kill him after he gives you the secret code. So the secret code happens to be Samurai. Now that's going to get you guys a um, boost in the game. So you're going to get two gold boosts from using the code Samurai. You don't get a pet. You don't get an exclusive uh, pet. You just get uh, two gold boosts, which um, it's very, very helpful. You know what I mean? And um, when you go over 
and talk to him and you get your gold boost you're going to go over to the shop and you're going to scroll all the way down to the boost and as you guys can see over here every boost lasts for 15 minutes so you get a half an hour of gold boost so that's going to be very very helpful so just imagine during this event you come over here for the first time you talk to the samurai and you get a gold boost i do believe that the gold boost may stack with the global boost so as you guys can see up here the global boost right now everyone is earning plus 200 percent more coins and then this should be able to stack with that making it a total of plus 300 percent more gold coins for you now if it doesn't then just comment down below and let me know um but that's pretty much it with this video and if you scroll all the way down to the bottom you can go ahead and put in that code samurai lowercase and click on redeem and as you guys can see i already redeemed the code i used the gold boost it was very very helpful and that's how i was able to get those uh four legendaries because of that gold boost so now i'm gonna just sit back keep continuing to grind gold and uh grind my gems and then just keep going backwards to farm and make sure i get everything i will update you guys on the progress as i am uh making that progress so look out for the next video and of course as i say um if you want to see more all you got to do is smash the like button on this video subscribe to the channel and hit me up in the comment section um if they do end up adding trading to the game of course, I'm down to grinding the best stuff and hooking you guys up with pets. But as of right now, there is no uh, trading.